Wasatch Softrip allows you to utilize the barcode system of your roll cutter to automate your print and cut production process. With this workflow, each job, whether it's a single image, a complex layout, or a whole roll of jobs, is printed by Softrip with a unique barcode. This barcode corresponds to the cut path that is defined in the print job. Once the cutter reads the printed barcode, the barcode is sent to Softrip, and the corresponding cut job is sent to the cutter. After the cutter cuts the contour path, it scans for the next barcode and repeats the process. This innovative feature allows for a whole roll of media to be cut with minimal user intervention. To begin, open Softrip. Select the unit you would like to use for your cutter and click the Print Setup button. In the Print Setup window, select your cutter model. For this type of workflow, your cutter must be able to read barcodes. In this video, we will be using a Suma cutter. Click the Edit button next to the Imaging Configuration drop-down menu, then click the Properties button. Check the box next to Read Barcodes Job via Front Panel, and then click OK until you're prompted to save a new imaging configuration. Name your new image configuration and click OK. When you get back to the Print Setup window, set the physical connection for your cutting device. When you are done, click OK. Now select the unit you would like to use for your printer and click the Print Setup button. In the Setup window, select your printer model, imaging configuration, and physical connection. Select any other features that you will need when you print. Move over to the Cutting Options section. If you are using a file that already has a cut path associated with it, check the box next to the Process Cutting Paths. If you want to generate a rectangular cutting path around each image, check the box next to Outline Jobs. Now check the Cutting Registration Marks box and select the registration mark that will work with your device. Select a barcode mark type and any other options you need in the Cutting Marks Options window. When you are done, click OK. From the Cutting Unit drop-down menu, select the unit you will be using for your cutter. Once you have selected all your options, click OK. Open the file browser and drag your image into the job window. If you are working with an image that already has a cut path associated with it, and you checked the Process Cutting Paths box in the Setup screen, you will see blue marching lines around your image. If you need to create a cut path within Softrip, click the Trace tab. When you have made all your adjustments, click Trace. You will see blue marching lines appear around your image. You can add your job to the layout screen and print multiple cut jobs at once or you can simply rip and print your image. When all your jobs have been printed, remove the media from your printer and load it into your cutter in accordance with your cutter's documentation. The media can be mounted on the cutter backwards directly from the printer and the barcode recognition system will ensure the cut paths are properly flipped. The cutter will read the barcode and transmit the job by default to Softrip. Softrip will then send the corresponding cut job to the cutter. Once the first contour cut job is complete, the cutter will scan for the next barcode and repeat the process until the whole roll has been cut. Because the cutter reads the barcodes and processes the contour cut paths automatically, there is no need for you to manually scan barcodes or search the RIP for the correct contour path. This allows you to fully automate your print and cut workflow, increase productivity, and minimize mistakes.